three, two, one, action. What is up, my dogs? Lawson here. So right now we're out on the farm, my parents' property. It's very beautiful. And if you haven't seen it before, there's a big lake. I, don't, I wouldn't call it a lake. There's a small pond on the property and it's got bass and brim and some gar. But it has some invasive species like tilapia and mine cichlid. And there's some placos in here as well. And the game plan for today, we're gonna do a little bit of bow fishing. I bought a really cheap bow fishing setup from Bass Pro and it was only $129, which I means a little expensive, but if you factored in having to buy like an actual compound bow and putting a bow fishing reel, some of the stuff, I mean, once you put a bow and a reel on, you're talking 500, 600 bucks. And this was just an all together little package. And I thought, hey, that's pretty neat. I would love to do some bow fishing. So today the game plan is to try to whack some tilapia and some Mayan cichlids and we're gonna do a little bit of a catch and cook with whatever we end up shooting so one part having fun shooting a bow two removing invasive species three eating some lunch so it should be an amazing time I'm very excited this is actually gonna be like my first time really bow fishing with like a proper setup I've done some little redneck stuff of like tying fishing line off of a spinning reel to an actual arrow and trying to shoot it on a long bow which is terrible and didn't work so this is gonna be like my first time <laughs> this is gonna be my first time actually using a legitimate setup so i'm very very excited so let's just hop into it okay so one of the most important things about bow fishing from what I understand some of like the research I've done and videos I've seen two things there is refraction on the water so when you're looking at the water on a plane it's like here's the water and you see a fish sitting right here the water the water refracts light and so even though the fish looks like he's here he's like down here so when you're aiming at a fish you need to aim considerably lower than you actually think you would to counteract refraction and secondly right here very very important part is wearing some good polarized sunglasses so you can actually see the fish well if you've never worn a good pair of glasses it's like a life of difference that it makes between being able to see fish well here he comes All we're doing right now is slowly just kind of like creeping along the bank and looking really slowly for fish. And tilapia, a lot of times, like if they're on the surface, they are so easy to see. They're real broad size, white and blue, like just perfect. But we're also looking for mine cichlids, which are gonna be a lot tougher to see. They have like really beautiful red stripes on them, but that's like mainly all you can see about them. And uh, I think the game plan is just to like kind of creep slowly, look really carefully, Hopefully we'll pick one out. All right, so Chelsea and I were stalking and walking around the pond and a moment of serendipity happened and Chelsea's brother-in-law like, had no idea that we we're currently at the moment trying to shoot tilapia. I just happened to mention to him yesterday that I bought a little bow fishing setup, texts me while we're walking the pond and says, oh man, you gotta come over and see this. So I, there's like a hundred tilapia around my dock. So. We are on the road and on the move, but we're gonna go see if we can catch one of these dang tilapia. I'm excited. I just like really, really want to get one. It's like first time ever actually bow hunting. I don't want to be defeated. I want to just stick with these things. It's been trial and error, shooting and missing, but I think I think we got it dialed in. Hopefully we can see some more because the pond, we're only seeing like three or four fish. Like oh, barely had any shots. So hopefully this will pan out for us. 
got one or not. You're, I, I definitely shouldn't have shot. There's so many of them. There's so many shallow ones too, and I shot at one over here. And there's like 40 of them. You're not wrong. Oh, so up. And there was two sitting down there, and I was like... There's two. Yeah, and there was like two, and I was like, oh my gosh, there's two big ones right there. And I like pull back and shoot, and all of a sudden I see like 20 sitting over here in the shallows. I'm like, oh gosh. I'm... Should I go for one of these shallow ones or one sitting out here? I might have like shaved his nose off his head. They're like. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Now we're talking. Get that thing in. Get that thing in. Oh, my no, he pulled off. How is that possible? Oh, your tip is probably loose. He bent it forward. Is it tight? Yeah, you gotta tighten that thing down. See that? It came off. Loose. That's good. Well, nice shot. Yeah. Hey, at least we hit one. Yay! Thanks for nothing. Yeah. Uh, oh, you can see it on here. Dude. Yeah, that's look at that. It's like a mega snook sitting out there. <laughs> Dude, that I should go get my rod that and throw is something in front of Huge. <laughs> what lure do you recommend? Top water out. Look at that thing. I know it's over there. Yeah. I could literally see it on this camera, which is like really impressive because this so doesn't big. usually catch up something like that. It's in the water right there. It's in the water right there. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, I freaking hammered him. <laughs> what is that thing? Oh, Stay on, buddy. Stay pinned. <laughs> He's like lassoed. <laughs> Yeah, a big horse mullet. We got a fish. It wasn't a tilapia, but I'll take a mullet. The recipe that I was actually going to cook up tonight actually was a, I'm not even joking, a recipe for mullet. And I was just going to cook tilapia doing it. I like that I can hit a horse mullet swimming, but I can't hit tilapia sitting dead still on the surface for some reason. Eat a mullet. Oh yeah, Jace, we're eating a mullet. I like it. <laughs> make it Coming down. School mullet are coming down the pipeline right here. Is it recording? Yeah. Okay. All right, we're gonna take one last shot at some fish because you can tell the rain's starting to come down a little bit, and we need to get cleaning this fish and cooking it. And there's a school of like horse mullet coming down the pipe, so it's all or nothing. They're coming. <laughs> Dang it! That was a long shot. <sighs> All right, we got one mullet. We'll be happy with that. First bow fishing session is a semi-success. Took longer than I'd like. <laughs> Had to make a few location changes to get something, and we ended up not even getting the targeted species. But honestly, I think I'm more excited about eating a mullet out of the saltwater than I would be eating a tilapia out of a stagnant pond. So, we got to stick and move. We're gonna go head home and freaking get cooking. We're just filleting our mullet up here. <laughs> I wouldn't look at it, that would look too great. Um, now, I'm not gonna lie, this will not be the first time I've eaten mullet. I actually ate quite a bit of it when I was younger. My dad and I used to go to the beach sometimes and throw the cast net, net a few mullet, bring them home, throw them on the smoker. This is pretty damn good, honestly. So, the recipe that we're gonna be doing for today, simple Florida classic, Fried mullet fingers. You want some of the mullets? You're looking for the mullets? Laying out some basics. This isn't going to be anything giant and fancy. This is like a quick grab and go fast appetizer fried mullet fingers. So I've sliced up my horse mullet into basically little fingers. You look at that right there. That's the idea. There are only going to be a few of them. You know, we only shot one mullet. That's all we need. And I'm going to season these, drop them in an egg yolk bath, put them in some bread crumbs, and then lightly season them again into the scale of fried oil. All right, friends. It's not much, but it's what we got. This fried mullet served with some lemon wedges. All the dealio. Gotcha. 
got your, <laughs> what am I saying? Got your mullet, and we're just gonna squeeze a little bit of lemon juice across the whole entire thing. You got a dipping sauce you like, bust it out. And that's it. Turn in a uh, bait fish, basically, what I would consider a bait fish, into a beautiful little snack. People eat mullet all over the Gulf and in the South, and it's not really a super common thing in South Florida, but I think it's pretty good, at least when I've had it. I probably haven't had mullet in 10 years, probably. But let's go for it. That is unreal how white that is. Friends, it's a beautiful thing to be able to go out and goof around and shoot a bow and arrow like an idiot. Get a mullet, bring it home, cook it up real quick and have a delicious meal. We're gonna grub down, but that'll be it for today's video. Hopefully you enjoyed it, doing something very new, a little bow fishing catch and cook. I would love to do some more if you guys are into it. And I would love to try to go get some sheep's head actually get tilapia and anything else I can think of or anything you guys can think of let me know down below but if you enjoyed the video make sure to drop a like make sure you subscribe to the channel that's it for me today I had a lot of fun just getting to uh, do something very different than what I normally do and it's just really nice and refreshing all right that's it until next time